Yahoo Fantasy Baseball Week 8 action. Tucson Toros group are going to take a look at AZ Padres taking on Lucky in Week 8 play. Uh, getting straight to it. Padres picked up the win here. 7 Two and one overall. Uh, Padres improves to 37, 34, and 9. A lot of ties for Padres this year. While Lucky now sits 28, 46, and 6. Padres has won four of the last five weeks, so looking good uh, as far as win loss record. Uh, first win scoring more than five points in a win, though, so definitely a more decisive victory finally for Padres. While Lucky tied the worst loss of the season in this week here and still just one win all year long. So Lucky definitely still struggling. Padres set season highs and saves, strikeouts, and had the best ERA all year while setting season lows in stolen bases and average. Uh, Lucky, though, uh, also set a season low, season low in runs. Uh, so the offensive production there struggling for Lucky. Also, uh, interesting stat, Lucky has had two wins in the pitching category six of the first eight weeks, so very consistent, but still very low numbers in the win column. On offense, it was a split two, two, and one between the two teams. There was a tie in homers, and Padres was able to take runs and RBIs. Uh, runs, homers, RBIs were all really close categories, though, on the offensive side. Uh, in pitching, Padres swept all five categories. Wins and saves were close, but... Domination definitely occurred in the ERA and strikeouts categories. Padres had just two players at homers. Both of them hit two, um, so definitely struggling there with the long ball. Uh, really bad average. Six players hit under 200 for the week. Just two players hit over 300. Adrian Beltre, though, definitely a bright spot for Padres. He had two homers, eight RBIs. He hit 393 for the week, so that's definitely a good contribution there. Um, Adrian Gonzalez is definitely the slumping all-star on the Padres lineup. For the San Diego Padres, uh, Gonzalez did not have a good week. He only had one RBI, no homers, and he hit 120. Uh, definitely documented uh, nationally that Adrian Gonzalez has been struggling. AZ Padres definitely needs his bat to pick up the offense uh, going forward. Also, just one player with a stolen base. Ichiro Suzuki had two stolen bases for the week. Uh, nobody else on the roster had a stolen base. So Some offensive holes there definitely exposed, uh, but Padres came away with the win nonetheless, and that's all that really matters. Lucky just used nine players this week out of the ten starting slots. Only nine were filled all week. Alex Rios had a monster week. He had three homers, six RBI, seven runs, three stolen bases, and he hit 320 for the week. So a five-category player there definitely contributing at, in all facets of the game. Three players had a stolen base, which is uh, much better than uh, Padres' Uh, performance this week. However, A.J. Przinski, definitely a sore spot for Lucky's roster. He only had one run. He's averaging 190 for the week. That's definitely not contributing to the cause. Dan Ugla is supposed to be much better than his week. Uh, he had a 200 average. He only had two runs for the week. And the Marlins offense uh, definitely was struggling all week, too. So uh, Ugla felt the brunt of that. Pitching was a very solid sweep by A.Z. Padres. Five pitchers with an ERA under two. That's fantastic, especially on a team that has no bench pitchers. Uh, John Garland picked up a win, 11 Ks, had a 1.29 ERA. Excellent production there. Adam Wainwright, he only had one win, but he had 20 Ks in his two starts for the week and a 1.29 ERA as well. Fantastic outing uh, in the two starts for Wainwright. Matt Thornton and Heath Bell for the uh, bullpen on the Padres roster. Uh, three saves and 12 Ks. Uh, eat or combined, so those two guys bet definitely did very well. And uh, Fernando Rodney snagged a win this week too. Rodney's kind of looking for a role in the pen for the uh, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, but uh, he picked up a win this week. The Angels have had a habit of winning games late, and that's definitely helped out uh, with the bullpen picking up some of the wins for that team. Lucky's been badly injured. Three pitchers are on the DL. Just five pitchers were used this week. A.J. Burnett was fantastic. Two wins, 13 Ks, and 0.69 ERA. Jonathan Papelbon, two saves, a zero ERA. But the red, the other three guys used. Chad Qualls, no saves, 18 ERA, four whip. Jamba Chamberlain, a 21.6 ERA, a 4.2 whip. And CC Sabathia also struggled this week. So uh, when you don't have enough pitchers as it begin, at, you know, to begin with, and uh, they don't perform well, your numbers aren't going to lie. You're going to lose those categories. So uh, definitely a solid victory in the pitching side for AZ Padres this week. Next week, AZ Padres is uh, sitting eighth in the standings right now, a game and a half out of six. So definitely right in that playoff mix, taking on Koufax's Revenge, another team in the middle of the standings right now. Uh, going to be a very important matchup for Padres. 
while Lucky sits 14th out of 16 right now, definitely uh, a tough start to the season for Lucky. Uh, things are starting to slip and get out of hand for that team. Five games out of 12th right now out of the consolation playoffs. Taking on Waveland and Sheffield next week. That's one of the top teams in the league. So definitely going to be a rough week for Lucky, it looks like, if things don't pick up.